So if you've never seen Power Query before, or you just want to show somebody how good Power Query is, then this is for you. It's a very quick demo. I'm going to consolidate 52 CSV files into Excel, and I'll make these files available, so you'll have a look at the links below this article. And this can all be done in a couple of minutes. So these are the 52 CSV files. I'll just show you what one looks like. There's data for four different stores and a week starting date and then the days of the week and then we've got some sales figures. So there's 52 of these files and I'm going to consolidate them all quite quickly with Power Query. I'm now using Excel 2016 and Power Query and the data ribbon has been renamed Get and Transform. So here we go. New query, from file, from folder. I've saved all these CSV files on my desktop, but they can be saved anywhere. So weekly source CSVs. Now Power Query goes and extracts the information each of these files. So go on to the edit button. And here we have it. All the different file names, the actual folder paths, various other bits of information. But the bit we really care about is this content column. And all you need to do Click on this double headed arrow. And here we have it, all 52 files combined. Now, the store code and the heading is in row one. I'd like to be that my header row. So there's a button, use first row as headers. The user interface in Power Query is absolutely fantastic. It's so user friendly, it's very familiar, it's like Excel. Uh, step you do it gets recorded on the right hand side and if you make a mistake you can just click on the cross to take that step so i've noticed that i've got 51 more headers so i just want to filter those out now i could just load this data as it is into excel but i actually want all my days to be in a column called days and all my values to be in a column called sales so to do that to highlight these first two columns, right click and unpivot other columns. Now the first time I saw this in Power Query, it just blew me away. This, the power of that, um, how useful that is, it's just amazing. So I'm just going to double click in that heading and change it to days, double click in that heading sales. Notice this is formatted as a text, so I just change, click on that to change it to a decimal number. That's fine, that can stay as text. This, I want to change to a date. And we're good. Click close and load. And there we have it. 1456 rows loaded into Excel. And if you add a new CSV file next week, all you would do is dump that data and that CSV file into that folder, open up your Excel file, right click, refresh, the query would run, and the date would get loaded in, added to this date. So in the next video, I'll show you how to manipulate this table a little bit differently to provide some really powerful reporting.